Oh my, what a great crowd in Knoxville, Tennessee tonight. Oh, it's a good crowd. It's a good place to be, especially on this evening. The group that you will hear and see tonight just doesn't sing gospel music. They sing music for Jesus. Let's give a warm Knoxville, Tennessee welcome to Johnny and Nadine Rexroad. When my burdens grow heavy, I just kneel down and pray. I ask God to work them out, not mine, but His own way. With Him by my side, that's all I'll ever need. For without Jesus, where would I be? Oh, where would I be without Jesus? And where would I spend eternity? In a world full of sorrow For without Jesus Where would I be? In John chapter 14 Verses 2 and 3 He said he was preparing A place for you and me With him on our side What a relief or without Jesus, where would we be? Oh, where would we be without Jesus? And where would we spend eternity? We'd be lost in a world full of sorrow. Or without Jesus, where would we be? Oh, where would you be? Without Jesus, and where would you spend eternity? You'd be lost in a world full of sorrow. Oh, without Jesus, where would you be? Oh, I'll have to say tonight, <laughs> praise God, that without Jesus, I wouldn't feel what I feel here already in this service. <laughs> And it's good to know the Lord and to know that he lives. And like a friend of mine said some time ago, he said, I know the Lord lives because I had a little talk with him today. Praise God. We've talked with him several times today and we feel real good about being here with you and cutting this live album tonight. Hallelujah. See all your smiling faces and we're enjoying it. And I know you are too. Praise God. Now I want you to give listen to a song that we sing and it's about a man called Noah that he was looking up one day, and God fixed it that he had to look up. Now, I often say that if Christian people would look up more in the day we're living in, they wouldn't be so discouraged. They'd be a lot happier. They'd be a lot, a lot fuller of the joy of the Lord. So you give listen to a song called The Upper Window. When God spoke unto Noah, he told him to build an ark, the Lord to build the vessel. But oh, it was so dark Then God said, build a window With an outlet on the sky And when it's dark and lonesome You'll see me standing by And the storms may come, but fear not For no It might be that affliction that will wreck and rack your brain until your mortal body is wrecked with fever pain. But do not be discouraged, just live your painful side through that upper window. You'll see. I 
Black House is land and gold And you will feel your purpose And can I listen to old But sweetness, peace and comfort Will lift your painful side When through that upper window You see him standing by In the storms may come But fear not For no I am not And through the upper window You'll see me standing by Now sometimes I close my eyes and think of heaven A city where The steels of life Won't hide the day And I'm sure Flowers will bloom On each hillside And I can almost Hear the voice of Jesus And I think of Jesus And how he died Upon the cross For you and me And I know I'll walk with him Someday in glory And I can almost Hear the voice of Jesus Child, you're welcome to this brand new city. Make yourself home. feel free to roam here on this shore. It'll be so good to be at home in my new mansion. Extending on, let God reach out. Call you home. We want to say good to be with you tonight in the service. This song is one that we've been practicing on. In fact, we've had a lot of requests for it in the last about the last month or so. And it's been a blessing to a lot of souls. And I guess if you like me, there's been times in your life you had God to send a Moses. Maybe his name wasn't actually Moses, but he was a deliverer for you. Maybe he just spoke the very words that you needed to pick you up out of one of the deepest valleys where he's got to set you on a high hill with him, in a high place with the Lord. Bless your heart real good. And we sing a song that kind of goes along that with a message in it to that, that effect, it's called God Will Send a Moses. And I want you to hear the words to it tonight. My God sent Moses down to see King Pharaoh. Told him to lose my people and let them go. They were all burning down with trouble. Moses to lead you out. 
We pilgrims now have started over the way To that fair land of rest to be to send a Moses maybe way down somewhere to a beer joint or somewhere down to some deep place of sin that you was at and, and, and maybe he just spoke a few words to you and it caused you to turn around and not want to uh, head on down that road any farther but want to turn back and come to the Lord. How many ever had God to do that for you? Oh, and it felt so good and you thank the Lord so many times. I remember how I used to play country music and I'd play in all the world at joints and all the places out there and had my heart set that I was going to make the tops in it. I was going to get about as high as I could in it. But the Lord one day had something else in plan for me. He had a different thing in store and I'm glad he did. I never missed a bit of it. Like I heard Brother Swaggart say one time in a service, he said, well, he said they used to tell me how much I'd missed and all the things I'd missed out in the world. He said, yeah, I missed all these smoke-filled places and I missed all them hangovers and them headaches and all them bad feelings and all them fights you get into. He said, I missed it all. <laughs> but he didn't regret missing a bit of it. But I'll tell you tonight, I don't have to miss this and I don't have to regret missing it because I enjoy what I feel in my heart, don't you? How many feel the Lord tonight? If you do, holler amen right big and loud. Praise God. Hallelujah. We sing a song that's called, I'm leaving it all in the hands of the Lord. And I'll tell you, you never took a problem to anybody that you could leave it in any better hands. Oh, when you get down in the valley and you feel like you don't, you don't have a friend left, take it to the Lord. You'll find out you've got one that'll stick closer than a brother. He'll stay with you no matter how deep the valleys get. No matter how hard the road gets, the Lord will stay by your side. Give a listen to the words of it called, I'm leaving it all in the hands of the Lord. Not the things that I want, but the things that I need. And this must be my desire if the Savior would heal. Resolve, fully trusting his word, and I'm leaving it all in the hands of the Lord. I'm leaving it all, I'm leaving it all in the hands of the Lord, in the hands of the Lord, daily looking above. This alone comes from God, the forgiver of sin. As an army for Christ, let us work in accord, ever leaving it all in the hands of the Lord. I'm leaving it all. I'm leaving it all in the hands of the Lord. In the hands Daily looking above, fully trusting His word, fully trusting in His word. What a deed He will give, what a deed He will give. That will be my reward. That will be my reward. And I'm leaving it all in the hands of the Lord. In the hands of the Lord.
speak of the Lord and how he saw me. Then I just think of his blood and how he bought me. And my blessings are more numerous than the stars up above. And I am constantly aware of his love. That's just fine with us. That's what we're here for, to see some soul saved. To see somebody lifted up out of the mars of sin and out of the troubles that the devil has to place upon them and make them constantly aware of the love of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, 
singing for the glory of God is seeing souls come to an altar like just now praying their way through the victory in the Lord say Lord I need you I need you and I've always found that every time you really get sincere with the Lord you get down to business you'll find he's standing closer than you thought he was Sometimes the devil tries to tell us the Lord don't care and that he's way off somewhere and it won't do you any good to pray that he'll not hear a thing you say. But like the song we sing about the little boy Jimmy, sometimes he's a lot closer than you think he is. All you got to do is just tell him from your heart that you mean business with the Lord and God will mean business with you too. Praise God. We are headed for a place tonight that all the words that we could speak couldn't describe the beauty of it. Hallelujah. We've heard it called heaven. We've heard it called glory land. We've heard it called about everything. But the song we want to sing calls it Beulah land. And I want you to give listen to it tonight. Praise God.
we've not told you who the young fellows are that's playing all the fine music behind us here tonight, we want to just take time a minute to tell you who they are. I notice all of them smiling. They've kind of settled down and quit shaking so hard. We want to tell you who they are tonight. The young man playing the piano, we borrowed him from the Oakwood boys. And they said, be sure and tell them who he come from. <clears throat> we borrowed him from him. His name is Danny Farmer, and he's all the way from over around Reliance, Tennessee. Would you make him welcome tonight? Of course, the uh, handsome looking fellow with the glasses on, doing all the fancy guitar picking on the flat top. He played with us some time ago, and now he has a group of his own, his family that plays with him. But he does a fine job on the lead guitar and a rhythm guitar, Brother Harold Hatfield from over in Jamestown, Tennessee. And the man with the big red necktie on, <laughs> beating around on these drums with all these sticks and really making a noise back there, doing a fine job of it tonight too. We call him, and he said be sure to tell it this way, that his name is Roy Looper. We borrowed him from the Looper uh, family over there, Brother Coleman and the Way Travelers. Would you make him welcome? <laughs> and of course we borrowed his brother playing on the steel guitar and doing a beautiful job, Brother Danny Looper also. And the most of you here tonight have seen the smiling fellow on the bass guitar. He's played here with us a time or two before in services, and he usually follows us around about everywhere we go. That's our oldest son, John Rexrow. Would you make him welcome? And the lady that I kind of follow along, helping out, they tell me sometimes, when am I going to learn to sing? But uh, she does a fine job, and you know, I used to play and sing all my life, and I thought I was doing real good, but when she started, they started asking me when I'm going to help her. I want you to make her welcome to tonight. That's my wife, Nadine Rex Rose. <laughs> and of course, the good-looking one of the bunch is doing uh, the following along, <laughs> and the helping out tonight. Most of you know who I am, Johnny Rex Rose. We make up the singing Rex Rotes, and we're glad to tell you about all the musicians. Now we want you to hear from them. They've got a number that they want to play for you tonight. It's called This Old Preacher Man. Would you give a listen to them? <laughs> 